you can rest assured of your child's excellent performance when you register your child with Janan Schools, Bombo Karure Campus, and Kabalagala. Due to their firm educational background, we have the best facilities in both arts and sciences, fully updated to the latest sector standards, right from senior one to senior six, in an environment that offers a chance to apply practical skills in all fields. That include a computer lab, introducing our students to the tech world, a well-organized science laboratory, a fully stocked library with all the essential books a student may need, a model farm to equip students with all the basic knowledge in agriculture plus extra vocational skills. We promote co-curricular activities in sports like badminton, table tennis, basketball, volleyball, chess, and many more other activities. Register your child today at both campuses in Bombo Kalule and Kabalagala campus. Our appeal to the government is that the, we have bodies which will train education, like the National Council of Higher Education, uh, the dental and mental, dental, me, medical and dental professionals council, and many other material to the council, that they must adopt technology, uh, review their guidelines and policies to ensure that they integrate technology because if they insist on traditional methods of teaching, the world is moving and moving very fast. We are now getting technologies like artificial intelligence, robotics, and you can use these cutting edge technologies to deliver education. And yet we find our guidelines do not accommodate some of those. So our appeal first is that as we integrate technology, we must review our policies, our laws, our guidelines to conform to the digital revolution which is uh, going on. But also, this university provides lessons in the sense that it takes students who are intelligent but come from poor families that cannot afford university education. And many of them, like those in medicine, have a scholarship. So we have to look at the education system in the country. Because those who make it for medicine, these high-end courses, I mean those who Udo, Mabunga, Miriango, Kisubi, these high-end schools. And those may never get, those from the villages like Anu, Kiso, Arua, those Karamoja, may never get chance to do these professional courses. So what is quite special about Kinsa University is that there are scholarships offered to such as students who are blind but poor, and they come and get scholarships and they train and qualify as doctors, as lawyers, and many others. So I think as government, as I'm part of government, on the other hand, we have to review the whole environment within education so that opportunities for professional courses should be extended to all students irrespective of their economic status and the household where they are.